So, it's a Saturday. And it is very, very, very windy. And the camera keeps getting blown over. So, I'm just going to take some pictures of before. And then do some after pictures. And then maybe do a video shortly after that. Showing what I've gotten accomplished today. I am about to spray some weeds with my homemade uh, weed killer. It consists of vinegar, dawn, salt, and water. All I'm going to be doing is spraying it directly on the weeds, being careful not to get my tomato plants over there. And in a few days, it will look like it is dead or on its way to being dead. Just spray it on up and it takes about two three days to kill it depending on the weed um, some of them I might have to come back and retreat it shouldn't rain tonight so it should be okay but I'm gonna treat this entire section here in front of the bench here where they're still green and then over here there has been a gardener snake living so I'm gonna treat that so I don't have to pull the weeds over there and along the flower bed and then I think I might head down that way and spray that section because it's really bad okay hi everyone it's Amanda I am about to give you an update on the weed killer yesterday I sprayed through here and I hope you can see it is turning brown it does need another coat through here because some of them did not die as you can see but over by the gate there that's all brown there's some green through here which I didn't get very good yesterday so I'll hit them today and over here where the gardener snake has been living it is pretty much brown and then on its way to being dead and along the fence we got pretty much all brown for a few little spots all brown brown a little green brown it's all dying all the way down and then along this edge pretty much dying on its way to being dead through here it is turning brown does need some more treatment and needs another treatment I should say over here needs a little bit more but it seems like everything is dying through here especially through here and I had dumped a bunch in this area it looks like it's dying now over here is there are so many weeds I have opted to lay a thick rubber mat down. Um, brother brought this home from work one day. He works in a restaurant. It's so thick and holds the heat that the weeds just underneath it will die in a few days. So I'll leave it there for a couple days, move it, and I'll keep moving it around. Got to get out the uh, weed whacker, clean up that bed. I'm going to plant some more lettuce and possibly cabbage 
a little late for cabbage, but we'll see how it goes. If not, I can put a five gallon bucket over it when the frost starts coming in. And the cucumbers look much better today. They're a little bit more perky. They got a little more rain yesterday. I'm on the back fence there. I lost another one. I think that's from the groundhog. He's been digging over right there. And to the other side of this post over here. That's where he's coming in at. And it doesn't matter what I put in there. He digs it out. There's one other thing I wanted to mention. When you make this uh, weed killer solution, you want to use hot water. Hot water will help to dissolve the salt that you add. Otherwise, the salt will actually clog up the, uh, the mechanism in the spray bottle and the nozzle. So use hot water. It helps to dissolve it a little bit quicker.